Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you guys are new here, my name's Liz and we are going to make 12 DIYs that you can use to decorate your tear trays for Valentine's Day. As a quick reminder with my tear tray videos, remember that if you wanna see the full finished pieces and them all on a tear tray, make sure to stick around till the end. So without further ado, let's jump in. For this first one, I grabbed this little mini envelope that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna start by using my heat gun to heat up that glue that had that bow attached. I'm gonna remove the bow, remove the twine, and then I'm gonna use this heirloom white matte spray paint. And I just gave it a good couple of coats. Once that's dry, I'm just gonna take a cloth and some Waverly Wax and Antique. I'm gonna dip it into my wax, dab it off, and then just start doing dabbing motions all over the envelope. I wanted to make it look a little bit more worn, add a little bit more texture to it so it wasn't just so flat. And I just did that over the entire thing besides the back portion on the front. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in just a second. So I'm going to take some of this scrapbook paper that you can actually now get from my website, moredecalanddecor.com. You can get a 12 by 12 sheet of this scrapbook paper, which I think is super cute. And all I'm going to do is measure it to fit down inside of my envelope so that it is the back portion of the envelope. If that makes sense. I just think this is super adorable. And then I grabbed these foam roses also from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take those and hot glue them inside of my envelope. And then for a little finishing touch, I'm gonna take some ribbon and I'm just going to wrap that around my envelope. I'm gonna hot glue it together in the back and then I'm also gonna take more of that same ribbon and I'm just gonna make a simple bow with it, just a simple shoelace type bow, taking two loops and tying them together. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that on the very middle and that is it for this DIY. For this next one, I'm going to take one of these tag signs from the Dollar Tree. This one was obviously from Christmas, but they do have some Valentine's Day ones out as well. I'm going to flip it onto its back and then I just gave it two good coats of my Waverly chalk paint in white. Now I'm going to add a little bit of distressing just by taking some sandpaper and going along all of the edges, making it kind of a brown border around the tag. And then I am going to be using a chalk couture transfer on this and I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any bleeding or any issues. So I'm just going to take some clear wax, add that to my tag, and then I just took a cloth and rubbed that all in. I'm going to let that completely dry and then I'm going to go in with my chalk couture transfer. This is the Valentine kisses one which I think is super super adorable. I'm going to put that on and I'm going to use my peachy keen chalk paste to add that to my tag sign and then I am just going to repeat those steps with all three of these little pieces. So the kisses I'm going to use the color storm I believe is what it's called and then for the lips I'm going to use the shimmer red color as well. And I just think this looks so cute together especially with all these colors. I think that they are absolutely adorable. If you ever want to check Chocotour out I always have them linked in my description box. I am a designer with them and I honestly could not be more obsessed. So that link is in the description box if you're ever curious. So I'm just going to take some twine, loop it through the hole at the top, tie a double knot, and then I did take three smaller wood beads, add that to my twine, add another double knot, and then I'm just going to make a small tassel to go on the end. So I'm just going to take some twine, I wrap it around three of my fingers probably about ten times, and then I am going to take that twine that's already hooked to my tag loop it through it and tie a double knot so that attaches your loops to the end of your tag and then I'll just take another piece of twine wrap it around the middle of my tassel tie a double knot do a couple more wraps around it tie another double knot and then you're just going to cut the ends make them all nice and even with a little haircut and that's all you got to do Hopefully I'm explaining that well. You can obviously see what I'm doing here. 
It's really, really easy if you know how to make a tassel, no problem. And that is it for this DIY. I think this one turned out super adorable. Now for the next couple of DIYs, these are actually a part of my Valentine's collection with my Tear Tray craft kits over on my website, moredecalanddecor.com. I just released these on the 1st of January. You can go over to my website and snag these up. It comes in a nine piece Tear Tray kit with all sorts of fun, different Valentine's Day pieces for you to decorate your tiered trays with. We also just released a subscription kit Every month you get a new craft kit in there and an exclusive paper pack that I put together myself. So if you're interested, I'll leave my website linked in my description box. But this is one of my favorite ones from the collection. I love my gnomes. If you've been on my website, I have a ton of different gnomes on there. But this guy is so stinking cute. So I wanted to show you how I painted him and put him together. I just painted the entire beard and the back portion of his hat white. I painted his hat red and then he also has some hands that are holding a heart. I'm just using my Waverly chalk paint and ballet slipper for the heart. And then I just used a paint pen to paint his little shoes on. For the smaller details, I like to use paint pens. It just gives me a little bit more control if you're ever looking for some good paint pens. I personally like using the Arteza ones and I get those just off of Amazon. And then I also use just gel super glue to attach all my pieces together. So I'll just attach his hat on there, add his nose, add his hands, and that is it for my little Valentine's gnome guy. I think he is just super stinking cute. And then for this next one, how adorable is this kissing booth? I have a ton of different themed booths through my craft kits and I knew I had to do a kissing booth for Valentine's Day. So here it is. All I'm going to do is take some white chalk paint and I dilute it in a ton of water, kind of making just a white stain. I am just going to lightly go over all the words and I did probably about two coats of this over the entire backing of the kissing booth. And then to make those engraved words pop a little bit more, since I did just put a bunch of white paint over it, kind of masks those words, makes it a little hard to see. I'm just going to take a little marker and go over the engraved words so that those pop off from the white paint. Now you're going to get four banner pieces and I'm just taking my Waverly chalk paint and steel and I'm going to paint all four of my little banners in that color. And then you're going to get two little lip cutouts. I just used some red chalk paint for those. I used my Waverly chalk paint and ballet slipper to paint all three of those hearts. And then again, I'm just using some gel super glue to adhere all of my pieces together. You'll also get a little piece of twine that you can use to string your banner up onto your kissing booth. And I just string the ends through the holes on the back of the kissing booth. And I just tie a couple double knots to make it so that the twine won't come through. And that's all you got to do for the kissing booth. Look how super cute this is. There's so many different ways that you guys can finish it. Paint it to match your Valentine's decor. However you like. I just am obsessed with this piece. Now, you know, if you watch my tear tray videos, I have to have a garland for my tear trays. So this one is my love letter envelope garland. I just think that this one is so much fun. So you're going to get an envelope with a little heart as well. I'm going to do the same thing with my white chalk paint, mix it with some water and paint over my envelope. Now, again, with those engraved lines, I've gotten some questions with people saying that when they paint them, the paint gets in them and how do I make them you know, come back. I like using some sort of pointed object. You could use a sewing needle, 
I had my Cricut weeding tool right next to me, so that's what I use. I just go through all the engraved lines and kind of scrape the paint out, and that is going to make your engraved lines show up a lot better than just painting over them. It just makes them come back to life with just taking a pointed object and going through them and scraping that paint out. And then I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper again, and I'm going to use that to paint my heart. Now you will get 27 wooden beads for your DIY project. This time I'm just using 20. Like I said, you'll get 27. I decided to use 20 for mine and I am doing it in two sets, two sets of 10. One will be painted in steel from Waverly chalk paint and the other one will be painted in ballet slipper. Next, I'm just going to adhere my heart to my envelope using some gel super glue. I'm going to take my twine, which you will also get in your kit, and I'm just going to tie it around the envelope, and then I'm just going to start stringing my beads on, just making a pattern between the gray and the pink. Now I'm going to make another tassel for the other end of my garland and I'm just going to take the twine, wrap it around my hand probably about 15 times and then I'm just going to loop that around the string that's already on the garland and tie the loops to my garland. Then I'm going to take another piece of twine, I'm going to wrap it around my loops, tie a double knot, and then I'll just wrap it around probably, you know, five to ten times around the top portion of my tassel. I'll tie another double knot, and then I'm just going to cut off the bottom loops and even them out by cutting the bottom off. And that's all you got to do for this garland. Look how cute this turned out. I love this for Valentine's Day. I love the little love letter and the pink and the gray. I'm loving those colors for Valentine's Day. So, so that is how you make my Valentine's garland from my craft kits on my website. For this DIY, I grabbed this little mini chalkboard stand from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use my Waverly Wax and Antique to act as a stain for this project. I just rub it all on with a paintbrush and then I just use a cloth to wipe off the excess. And then I'm going to take these heart table scatter pieces that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start hot gluing them to my chalkboard. That is all you're going to do for this one. I did four rows of three with these hearts, just used my hot glue and hot glued these all to the chalkboard. It's really as simple and easy as that and I just think that this makes a really fun simple piece. Nothing too crazy, takes zero skill. If I can do it, I promise you guys can do it. And that is it for this DIY. For this DIY, I grabbed these, what I'm assuming are salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree. I just thought these were adorable. I'm going to remove the lids and then I'm also going to take this shredded paper that I believe I found at the Dollar Tree last year. And I'm just going to start by taking some of that out, putting it inside the bottom of each of these little mugs is what I'm going to call them. And then I have these acrylic gems that also came from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put some of those in there as well. Now, I think these pieces are really fun as just kind of filler pieces. You make these big signs to go on your tier tray. You need kind of something to fill in some empty spaces and I think these are the perfect way to do it. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing with both of these, add those little gem pieces, and then I'm gonna take some red ribbon, I'm gonna hot glue it around the top portion of each jar, and then I have these DIY pins that also came from the Dollar Tree. I just popped off the little clothes pins off the back, and then I'm gonna hot glue those to the front of each jar. That's all you gotta do for this DIY. Really, really simple, and I love the sparkliness of the gems and the red for Valentine's. I thought these turned out really cute.
For this one, I found this galvanized sign at the Dollar Tree. If you flip it over, it is completely blank and that's what we're going to use. I'm going to take my February 14th Chocotour transfer that I just got and really wanted to use. I thought it was so cute. So I'm just going to fuzz the back and then I will try to center it as best as I can on that sign. I'm going to take my chalk paste in Peachy Keen and I'm going to go over the entire sign with that chalk paste and that's all you got to do for this one. Super, super easy, really, really quick. This makes for a really fast five minute craft and you can wash the transfer to use again for a different project and that's it. Pull up your transfer and you have this really cute February 14th sign. For this DIY, I'm going to grab one of our ladder wood cutouts that we have on our website. These are perfect for tiered trays, the perfect size, and I'm just going to start by staining it using my Waverly Wax in Antique. Next, I'm going to grab some of this sparkly berry garland. I want to say that I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure you can grab some from the Dollar Tree as well. But I just took a paint bottle and I just started wrapping the garland around it probably about a good five times. And then once I have it wrapped around as many times as I want, I'm just going to cut that off. And that extra little piece hanging off, I'm just going to use that to wrap around the entire wreath so that it all stays in place. Next, I'm going to take some red ribbon. I'm going to loop that through the wreath and then I'll also loop it around the ladder and I'll hot glue the ribbon together so that stays in place. I'm going to make a simple shoelace bow using that exact same ribbon and I'm going to hot glue that to the top of my wreath and then I have these little greenery pieces that I'm just going to take cut into a couple smaller pieces and hot glue behind each side of my bow. Give it that extra touch of color and that is it for this DIY. For this project, you are going to take two tumbling tower pieces from the Dollar Tree and you are going to drill a small hole on one side of each of them and then you're just going to hot glue those two pieces together. I'm going to take my Waverly Wax and Antique, use it as a stain and stain that entire thing. Next, I'm going to take some of this greenery garland that I believe I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to measure a small section out and then I'm going to push each end through those holes on my tumbling tower pieces. I just took a pair of pliers to kind of smush them down to the block so that they wouldn't fall through the holes again. Next, I'm going to take some of these paper flowers that I also got from Hobby Lobby. I ended up using two and I just hot glue them to the sides of my little garland. And then I also grabbed some of these hearts from Hobby Lobby. I know you can get some at the Dollar Tree, but those ones were a little bit deformed and <laughs> weren't so heart looking. And I just took two of those, hot glued them together, took an excess piece of that greenery garland and used those to kind of tie those onto the sides of the greenery and you're just going to make this really cute little swing that you can use to hang from your tear tray and have the hearts at the bottom. I think this turned out really really cute and perfect for Valentine's Day. For this DIY, I'm going to grab one of these wooden trucks that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint this with some red paint from Dixie Belle. I believe it's the barn red color. And then you'll see some popsicle sticks here. Just completely ignore those. I ended up not needing them. I used them, but they weren't of use <laughs> for what I was wanting to do with them. So I'm just going to paint my entire truck in this red color. You want to make sure that you paint the inside of the back piece as well because you will be able to see that when your truck is on your tear tray. Next, I'm going to take these Valentine's Day Chocotour minis. I'm going to take 
this one with these striped hearts on it just with my white chalk paste and I'm just going to paste those little hearts onto the front of my truck and I just thought this added a cute little detail to the truck. Next I'm going to take these white foam flowers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start hot gluing these to my truck. I believe I used about five of them and I just hot glue them together and to the truck to kind of keep them all secure. And then to finish it off and add a little bit extra color there, I'm going to take some of this greenery, cut them down into smaller pieces, and then I just stick them in between the flowers. And that's it for this DIY. I think this turned out absolutely adorable. And I love the truck full of roses. I think it is super, super cute. For this DIY, I'm going to take one of these hearts that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper and I'm going to give this entire thing one good coat. Now I'm going to take some twine and I just wrapped it around my heart about four or five times just trying to see how much twine that I wanted to use. I'm also going to use these really small wooden beads. I take three of them for one side, three of them for the other. You'll kind of see what I do here in a minute but I'm going to take those beads, put it on the twine and then start wrapping my twine around the heart and then I will add the other three beads to the twine and then continue wrapping the twine around the heart. I'm just going to use some hot glue to secure the twine in place on the back. I'm just going to wrap the twine around the heart. It doesn't have to be perfect or in a line. I kind of crossed the twine over on some places and then just secured the end piece with some hot glue on the back. I'm going to take some of these flower DIY pins from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take a red one and remove the clothespin off the back. And then I'm just going to hot glue that to the middle of my twine. And that is it for this one. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my website if you want to see all the fun Valentine's Day themed DIY kits that I have up right now. Let me know what your favorite project was in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!